हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मुकुल सैनी अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई टीच यू हाउ टू कन्फिगर अ टेराकॉम मॉडम प्रोवाइडेड बाय द कंपनी बी एस एन एल इन इंडिया द मॉडम हैज़ गॉट नंबर ऑफ फैसिलिटीज वेर इट गिवज यू फोर पोर्ट स्विच अ डी एस एल मॉडम लिंकिंग पॉइंट अ यू एस बी पोर्ट a button to switch on and switch off if you talk about the exact name of this model it is t2-b-gaw v1.4u10y-bi this modem consists with a inbuilt wifi router as you can see here it is in order to configure first of all we need to put 192.168.1.1 in the ip address we can use any browser for this on entering this we'll have an authentication required where we will enter username as admin and password as admin in small letters it's a d m i n inserting this and pressing okay we will actually get into the modem so this is the first interface of what we will see in after entering the modem here first we need to configure the internet connection so as you can see there are many options amongst these we will select the option internet connection here we will see this screen here we need to go to edit in the first that is pppoe_0_35 which is the vpi and vca settings in india this is the second page as you can see it is already filled so we need not to do any changes and we'll simply click the button next on the next screen again we need not to touch anything it's just that we'll see the settings as they are on the screen and we'll click the button next on this screen also we need not to do anything as it is a default setting is in in this modem it's okay we'll click the button next now here we have service name as data1 broadband username as multiplay password password and other things here we need not to change the first thing as data1 but we need to insert our respective username which is given to us by the internet service provider which is bsnl in this case so we will put our username what it is given by bsnl for example let's say the username is dv17022222 underscore ncdr it might differ in your location so please check out from the internet service provi provider now the password in bsnl case is always password that is p in small letters p a s s w o o r d and again we need to confirm this so we will enter password in small letters p a s s w o r d we will let the settings be always on and we will click the button next now we will click apply in order for these settings to actually be implemented and saved inside the modem now we will go to the wireless network setting where we will secure the wifi network so that another person cannot use our internet so the first setting it's okay 
select country it is ini which is a short form for india remember the wireless network should be in enable mode as you can see on the screen the same modem is sent in any countries so they have given the option to choose one's own country in our case it is ini which stands or which represents india you need not to change this let this channel selection be in auto mode by the router now ssid is very important here it is the name which is seen in any other device which we want to actually connect this with this wifi modem and use the internet connection so you can change this according to your choice for example you can make it my underscore house underscore wireless or anything whatever you want this will be the name which will be shown whenever you want to access the wifi in your surrounding remember hide ssid should always be kept no and in order to secure this connection we will choose the option vpa mix mode this option is often used by any wifi gadget which can access the modem so this is the best setting for your modem now here is the select authentication method it is pre shared key here we need to enter our chosen password for our wifi connection for example in this case you can see it is a b c d at the rate 4321 you can even change it to z x c v exclamation mark 4321 or you can make it z x c v exclamation mark 1 2 3 4 5 6 it can be anything whatever you want now after inserting this we will finally do press the confirm button now we'll kept it to the default value as it was in our modem a b c d at the rate 4321 and see the network i ssid all other options and finally click the confirm button confirm button in order to save these settings in the modem now we have configured the internet connection and the wireless network remember in this particular modem the select mac authorized should be kept disabled if it is any other value like blacklist or whitelist you should shift it to disabled and click the button apply if this setting is not applied then you can see the wifi modem name but you cannot you cannot actually connect to the modem this is the particular scenario in with this particular modem so you need not to confuse it or learn this for any other modem this scenario is only for this modem at the end we need to change the admin password by default the username is admin and the password is admin it is the default setting which is provided by the vendor who has made this modem but remember we need to change this always we should do that in any other modem so the username we cannot change it is admin the current password as you already know it is small letters a d m i n admin and in this case we will change it to admins i will add extra letter s in the name we will make it as new password a d m i n s again we will confirm this and put the button apply this really secures the modem if the person knows your wifi password still he cannot go inside the modem and change your settings this is the beauty of this particular feature so now our username is admin and password is a d m i n s and when we press okay we actually go inside the modem in the end thank you for watching this video this is mukul saini
थैंक यू